Why are you here? Just an irresistible impulse. There I was, slaving away, when all of a sudden it came to me. Chinese food and a movie. Old Eli will let you go early. It's an old Hitchcock film. It's supposed to be great. And they're only showing it one more day. Hello, Wanda. Hello, Roger. How's tricks? Not as tricky as yours. Eli needs to see you. Tell him that uh, she had to leave early. Tell him yourself. Come on. We're going to see a movie and have dinner. We've got to get going. Oh, I'll ask Eli. Don't ask him. Tell him. Tell me what? Uh, Eli, I can finish this tomorrow. So she can leave early tonight. Okay. Is it all right? Of course it is. You don't know when to stop, do you, Roger? Only at red lights, Eli. Only at red lights. There's something I'd like to ask you, Roger. We were working on a very important antitrust case here, you know, and uh, suddenly they took all our records away. So I made a few phone calls to find out why. And do you know what they said? They said, talk to Roger Castle. Uh, what's that, uh, Loman Hotels International? Yeah. I figured you knew about it. We had an indictment there. Forget about it, Eli. It's over your head. You're going to keep those records away from everybody, aren't you, Roger? Away from the SEC? Away from the Senate subcommittee? What kind of a slimy deal have you made? There's a Treasury Department investigation going on, buddy. Those records are protected by executive privilege. Oh, come on, Roger. Nobody gets them. So if you want to holler, go right ahead. What in. are you talking about, Roger? What, what investigation? You're protecting Bennett Lohman. What did he offer you guys? Eli, forget about it. You don't really give a damn about anything, do you, Roger? Not the law, not the country, just what suits you. And you're a patriot. Hooray. Come on, Jenny. Jenny, you've got work to do. She said she'd finish tomorrow. I will, Eli. I'll finish tomorrow. See? Come on, I'm hungry. You know, he'll go far, your friend Roger. <laughs> if I had one wish... Yeah, what's that? I'd wish that someone felt about me the way you feel about Jenny. You know? <laughs> oh. Hi. No, I was just... Sure. I have a time. Tonight? Uh, I was... You know, tomorrow night would be better. No, I'm not mad at you anymore. All right, it's 8 o'clock. Uh, I'll see you then. What's the matter? Can we have dinner tomorrow night? Instead of tonight or along with? Instead of? Roger called. And you said yes. Well, it's just that Roger... I'm sorry, Eli. Roger calls and you come running. Can we have dinner tomorrow night, Eli? Please? We can have dinner whenever you want. You, up. you waited all this time? I was afraid to come here. 
afraid. Why? I was afraid of what... what you think of me. But... Stay alone. Eli, please don't be angry with me. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. I don't know what was going to... It was a lucky break. Yeah, wasn't it? Roger, why did you tell her to meet you at police headquarters? Listen, no one knew it was going to get that bad. Then why didn't you call Jenny? Tell her to stay at home. What, are you kidding me? When things hit the fan, I didn't have time to turn around. Look, Roger, she could have been seriously hurt. The tear gas was bad enough. Well, she wasn't. Thanks for bringing her home. Jenny, uh, look, what do you say? Uh, tonight, the best French restaurant in town. How does that sound? Eli. I know. Now playing quarterback for Bridgeport High School, <laughs> Eli McGinn. Well, the first time I called the signals, I was so nervous I didn't think the center would even give me the ball. <laughs> what happened after that? The coach advised me to take up chess. <laughs> I don't believe any of it. It's true. I swear. <laughs> no. I mean, most of it anyway. Uh -oh. I like to see you laugh. Well, I like your stories, even though you do make them up. Oh, excuse me. I've been looking everywhere for you. How you doing, Eli? A lot better before you showed up, Roger. I believe it. Trying to make time with my girl, huh? She's not your girl anymore, Roger. Roger, go away. Please. I... Look, I'm sorry about the other night. You know how those things happen. Flaherty had me locked up till midnight. She said go away, Roger. Butt out, again. Not on your life. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll explain the whole thing. We can even talk about going back up to the cabin. Look, she's not going anywhere. You are. Oh, really? I mean it, Roger. Just leave us alone. Look, Eli, I'm going to say it once more nicely. I think you've said time. just about... Hey! 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 I'm all right. Come on, I'll help you up. Help you, you get out of here. I'm all right. Get out. Ah, oh, the fight's all over, pal. Get out. Take it easy. I'm going, folks. I'll call you tomorrow. Go. Oh, you know, you all right? It hurt. Oh, yeah, oh. it hurts. It hurts. Well, I'll, uh, I'll say one thing for Roger. He doesn't give up easily. I wouldn't joke about that, Eli. Why not, huh? I mean, he may have won the fight, but uh, I've still got the girl. Don't I? Because, uh... Hello, Roger. <laughs> I think he's about to ask you to marry him, Jenny. Go ahead, Roger. With you here? I'm not leaving. Well, I, uh, guess I might as well, uh, come right out with it. Before you do, there's something I'd like to say, Roger. Eli and I... No, uh, you'll get your turn in a second, Jenny. Let him finish, Jen. Look, now, I know there's something between you two, all right? <laughs> now, Jenny, listen to me. What's important is that we have been through it all together for three years. 
the bad as well as the good. But the bad's all behind us now. It doesn't matter anymore. What matters now is that you know I love you, and I know you love me. If anything can be sudden after three years, this is. But tonight, we'll get in a car, go across the state line, and do it. I want you to marry me, Jenny. I love you. I need you. What do you say? Whatever you're thinking, Jen, just say it. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry you asked, Roger. I was hoping that you wouldn't. I used to love you more than anything in the world. I loved you so much it hurt. No, 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 no. don't say used to, Jenny. God, that sounds terrible. It's true. I don't love you anymore. I, I don't accept that. Now, you can't change something like we had overnight, not after three years. Come on. No one changes like that. I don't love you anymore, Roger. What if I said I really needed you? 